some days she just didn't want to do it and just had to explain to her, but she just kept fighting, never gave up. She blows me away. I think she's an incredibly tough cookie. The main thing is to impress upon them some hope that we have very good treatment for this disease and in fact the expectation is cure. Are you so excited? Where are we going? Back home. Back home. Ali, <laughs> where are we going? Home. Are you excited? is utterly devastating and it's devastating for us as a team as well. Everything went absolutely perfect. She was so good and then again, <laughs> relapse. <laughs> I really got my hopes up, I really did. I think we all did. As a doctor, you know, they stay professional and everything like that, but she just has this extra layer of care. She cries with us when things don't go how we want and it makes a big difference to know that the person that's trying to save your child's life really, really, really cares. So at that point we had to really move fast. So we gave her a reinfusion of her CAR T cells with the hope that that would bring her disease down to get her ready for transplant. And she rang me and this is Di. And she was like, I've got some difficult news. And I just, my heart broke because I just knew that we just had to go through so much more trauma that we wouldn't have had to do if it worked. Just seeing her go from the lowest of lows to when the actual transplant kicked in, you could just see that it's going to be fine. This is going to be it. We are living our best life at the minute. We just celebrated her eighth birthday. Now she's smashing it. She's going to school every day, she's back at dancing. She's out riding her bikes, rollerblading. She's just a whole new kid. And we're just excited for the rest of our lives without any more drama, hopefully. <laughs> I'm strong, could fight anything, and I love my family. <laughs>